This is what France has come to. Clashes today between police and high school students inspired by a wave of protests across the country. Near Toulouse, a school was set on fire. Even at the prestigious Sorbonne University in Paris, students set up a blockade today and aired their grievances. We stand with the yellow vests, he says, because we can relate to their fight. Yes, those yellow vests. The protesters in fluorescent workwear, who started by campaigning against fuel tax hikes, but whose movement devolved into ugly riots. Troublemakers threw rocks, torched cars, even defaced the world-famous Arc de Triomphe. Lower the taxes and let us live, she says. For President Emmanuel Macron, it signaled his biggest crisis yet, vowing not to give in and to push through his eco-friendly plan. Today, though, a concession. You'd have to be deaf or blind to not hear the anger, Prime Minister Edouard Philippe said, announcing the tax hikes would be suspended for six months. It's a win for the streets, sure, but unlikely to fully calm the rage. The Yellow Vest movement has grown to encompass wider concerns, with the president focused on global ideals and lower earners feeling left out. The government's image may yet bear this stain for some time. Thomas Dagg of CBC News, London.